Test tomorrow over lessons 8.1 to 8.5. Should have quizzes on all three, all five lessons. I just gave you back your 8.5 quiz. Get those over. Special right triangles, where are they? Now let's go, let's go to according to side, my special right triangles that I know. Let's get a three, four, five. Right triangle? Yep. Another one. Eight, nine, seven, six. Nope. Eight. Is that eight, nine, and thirteen? Eight, nine, and thirteen. The seven, eight, thirteen. Seven, eight, eleven. I'll just, uh, 5, 12, 13. 5, 12, and 13. 8, 15, 17. 8, 15, and 17. Was there one other one? 7, 7 24, 24, and 25. So those are the four that you need to make sure you know for your test. Mm. Make sure you know those special right triangles. All right, so when we're looking at page 535. 535. Uh, number five. Looking for X. Are we going to find X? Uh, the bank and All right, so we're going to set it up how? 16 squared plus 14 squared equals X squared. Yeah, Caleb. Um, 14 squared is 196. 16 squared is 256. Four fifty two, correct? Um, All right, so we're going to break down four fifty two. All right, a number that we're going to four fifty two. I guess two. Square. Are we need a perfect square. Oh. Four. Four. The so square root of four is two. Four goes into four how many times? Four goes into five, how many times? One. You got one left over, bring that with the two, that's 12. Four goes into 12, how many times? Three. So C equals two square root of 113. Two equals C square root of 113. All right, number six. Get an eight, 15, and X. So if we remember our special right triangles, we know that X is going to be what? 17. 17. 8, 15, 17, right triangle. Number seven. We have an isosceles right triangle, so that means to set that up, we're going to have? Um, so 2 plus 12 plus 12 plus 144 equals C squared. 288 equals C squared. C equals the square root of 288. Eight. All right, what number are we going to 288? Four. Bigger? 12. 12? Okay. <laughs> All right. We just take the 12 out and then add two. Right? So there's two times 12 times 12. 12 times 12. So there's 144 times two. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Square root of 144 is? All right, number eight. How are we gonna set this one up? Eighteen squared equals nine squared plus x squared. Isn't eighteen in a pot? Oh, wait, it is because it's a vertical. Eighteen no. squared is three twenty-four. I think that's right. Hey, that was pretty good. Eighteen squared is three twenty-four. 
Subtract 81 from 324. Number that we're going to 224. Nine. Oh, no, it's a 243. 243, yeah. Three. All right. Three goes into 243. How many times? Three. Which one's a perfect square? Three. So therefore, I get nine, nine squared of three. All right. So you need to make sure you're able to break down these. We don't want decimals. We want uh, exact numbers. Uh, so make sure you break those down. Uh, Pythagorean theorem is the first section, uh, so make sure you know how to work the Pythagorean theorem. Any questions there? All right, next one is special right triangles. We have a 45, 45, 90 right triangle. We've got a 30, 60, 90 triangle. 45, 45, 90 triangle. What's the relationship to the sides? What's the relationship to the sides? Legs are congruent. Legs are congruent. What about the hypotenuse? The leg times square root of two equals the hypotenuse. So if I know the square, if I know the leg, I can find the hypotenuse by doing what? Multiplying by the square root of two. If I know my hypotenuse, I can find my leg by doing what? Divided by square root of two. Good stuff with that. Oh, that's yours. Okay. I thought there was somebody missing. All right. Child. Child. 30, 60, 90 triangle. In the 30, 60, 90 triangle, what's the relationship of the sides? Minus um, 1 equals half of the hypotenuse. All right, the small side is half the hypotenuse. The long side is times square root of 3 to the short side. What's that? The long side is times square root of 3 to the short side. All right, the long side is square root of 3 times the short side. Anything else? Partners double the small side. All right, look at page 335, number 9. We've got a 45-49 triangle. What's X? 7. 7. What's Y? 7. 2. Okay. Number 10. We have a 45-45-90 triangle. Uh, what's X? 5 squared plus 2 thirds. How do we figure that out? Divide by square root of 2 thirds. All right, so 10 divide by square root of 2. And we have to make sure that we... Rationalize the denominator by multiplying by the square root of 2 on top and the bottom. 10 squared of 2 over 2. Therefore, it cancels out. We get 5 squared of 2. 5 squared of 2. Number 11. Number 11, 30, 60, 90 triangle. What's Y? Everybody agree? 12? What's X? 6 squared of 3. All right, number 12, we've got a 40, 30, 60, 90 triangle. What's X? Seven. Seven. Everybody with us? Everybody with us? All right, our number 12, seven. And my Y would be? Seven squared of three. Seven squared of three. 13, we had a square garden that's 50 feet long. So there's my square garden, 50 feet long. And my, on my sides, they want to know... Uh, we stretch the hose from one corner to the other. What is the length of the holes? Uh, the holes to the nearest tent. All right. The length of the diagonal would be fifty times square root of two. Fifty square root of two, and then we take our calculator and find to the nearest tent. All right. So our special right triangles: thirty, sixty, ninety, forty-five, forty-five, ninety. Any questions? All right, section 8.3 and 8.4, trigonometry, uh, trigonometry, all right, and yeah. angle of depression and angle of elevation. All right, sine, cosine, tangent, so Katoa, and then you have your reciprocal functions. Reciprocal function of sine. Cosecant. 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 Reciprocal function of cosine. Cosine. Secant. 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 Reciprocal, reciprocal function of tangent. Cotangent. If we know my sides, well, how would I find the ratio of my sine of my angle? Opposite of a hypotenuse. Opposite of a hypotenuse. The cosine of my angle. 
and the tangent of my angle. All right, the secant of my angle. Hypotenuse over the adjacent. All right, the cosecant of my angle. Hypotenuse over opposite. And my cotangent of my angle. Adjacent over hypotenuse. All right? I'm sorry, what did I say? Hypotenuse. Opposite, correct. Adjacent over my opposite. Correct. <laughs> Almost said it again. Uh, my bad. All right, so number 14. Sine of angle A. Uh, two squared 19 over 20. Simplify. Mm -hmm. Square 19 over 10. Square 19 over 10, correct. The cosine of angle A. Uh, All right, 18 over 20, which is 9 over 10. The tangent of angle A. All right, 2 squared of 19 over 18, and then I simplify square root of 19 over 9. The secant of angle A. The secant of angle A. 1 over 2 square root of 9. And 19. 20 over 2 square root of 19. All right? If I want to rationalize that, I'm going to multiply both the top and the bottom by... 19. Here's the radical. And you said the secant? Uh, yeah. Over you did say secant. We're doing cosine and then. Right. What's that? We're doing cosecant? No. You said secant, but what's the problem doing the cosecant again? Alright. I said secant. Alright, secant would be what? Hypotenuse over. Adjacent, correct. All right, so this is really a cosecant. All right, what happens to the 2 and the 20? So 10 squared of 19 over 19 is what we want to make sure we do. The cotangent of angle A. The cotangent of angle A. Eighteen over two squared of nineteen. Simplify that would be um, nine squared of nineteen over nineteen. All right, so we multiply both the top and the bottom by nine over nineteen. All right, nine. being able to find our ratios. All right, if we look at number fifteen, the sine of angle A. Positive. Sine of angle A. Positive. No sign. It's 4 over 5. All right. 16 over 20, correct? Reduce. You missed in. 4 over 5. The cosine of angle A. 12 over 20. 12 over 20, which is? over 5. The tangent of angle A. 4 over 3. So make sure that we can simplify correctly. Make sure I remember my ratios. So Katoa to do that. Number 16, finding the missing side. So number 16, I got the 12, I got the angle 36, and I got x. How does 12 relate to 36? Opposite, how does x relate to 36? So therefore, what trig function will I use? Is that the correct setup? Make sure I have a test. Even if you have multiple choice, you show me the setup. All right, how are we going to solve for x? We are going to take it. Correct. 
12 over tangent 36. Wait, is it tangent? If we no, you said arctangent. Oh, oh sorry, one. I said, sorry, sorry. Yeah. We take, multiply by x, x tangent of 36. We know. Equals 12, and then divide by tangent 36. Make sure our calculator is in degrees. Now we use calculator, we want it to the nearest tenth, so x equals, what is it? 16.5. Everybody agree? Mm -hmm. Or number 17. Number 17, we're looking at trig functions again. Uh, how does 12 relate to x? How does 22 relate to x? So we're going to use what trig function? over 22, is that correct? Yeah. Alright, now to solve for x, I have to use my arc sine. You use 12 over 22, you can reduce 6 over 11. So 6 divided by 11, and then you take your second function, sine, to get your angle. Make sure you're in degrees. Make sure you put your degree symbol, 33.1 degrees. Number 18, we're flying a kite, limit less out of 45 feet of string and anchors it to the ground. She determines that the angle of elevation of the kite is 58 degrees. What's the height of the kite from the ground around to the nearest tenth? So you want to draw yourself a picture. Here's the ground. There's the kite. There's the string. There's your height. There's your right triangle. All right, the information they give us. Length of the string. What else did they give us? Uh, elevation. Angle of elevation, which was? Mm -hmm. Angle of elevation, the angle up. And they're asking us to find uh, the height. The height. So, what trick function will I use? Having a cell for x? Uh, multiply by 45. So 45 times the sine of 58, I get what? 38.2. What is it? 38.2. 38.2. Make sure you put your units. My units here would be? Just put your answer, yeah. Number 19. Number 19 says find the magnitude and direction of each vector round to the nearest tenth. All right, so they give me the coordinate form. My x coordinate here is? 50. 50. And my y coordinate is? 200 kilometers. Well, they're both negative, correct? I want to find magnitude. How do I find magnitude? How do I find my R? All right, 50 squared plus 200 squared. Point two. What's my unit? Uh, this is kilometers. kilometers. 
How do I find my angle? Ooh, you do an A R T N Y over A. So do so for so for do do. So the arctangent of negative 200 over negative 50. 75.9. No, 76.0. Yes, yes, I, I was getting to that. You got it. 36.0 degrees. What quadrant are we in? We are in the third quadrant. Third quarter? They gave me this angle. We're in the third quarter of the game. All right. So therefore, this angle is going to be? 256. Wait, but right there is 76, correct? Yes. Okay, so therefore I got 206.2 kilometers at Cartesian vector form would be? 256 degrees. 256 degrees. And then map vector form would be? At 76 Down degrees of west. We fly only southwest. Are you on the boat? Excuse me? I fly here. I will ask for one or the other. Alaska is a good place to fly to. Yeah. Alaska is a good place to fly to. All right, so remember, something to fly to. your calculator will either give you this angle or this angle. It will give you the reference angle, and you have to be able to put it in the right coordinate, the correct coordinate. All right, number 21. All right, the vector in the first coordinate, uh, first quadrant, has the coordinates of what? Two, negative two. Two, three. Two, three, first quadrant? Yes. The vector in the third quadrant, uh, second quadrant, rather. Negative one, one. Negative one, one. How do we add vectors? We add them x plus y and y, I mean x plus x and y plus y. So therefore my result is? 1, 4. 1, 4. All right, I want to be able to put that vector in vector form. So how do I find my magnitude? That's x squared plus y squared square root of all of it. Where 17 is? Unit 4.1. How do I find my angle? Our tangent y over x. All right, what quarter am I in? First or second? Third or fourth? Uh, we are in the first. So there's my Cartesian vector form. My mat form would be 4.1 units. At 76.0 degrees. North or west? North or east? North or west? All right, so that's what you're going to have to do tomorrow on your test, those problems that we did uh, right there. Those exact ones. Every number, the exact same thing. No. <laughs> Anybody have any questions? Yes, ma'am. So, is the wall of sine some of the times that aren't? Oh, yes, it is. Ah, law of um, sin is on it. You sure? And law of top. Yeah, because it's not in the review. I need to go, I need to go over that. Thank you, Abby. All right, remember law of sine is uh, a square sine of a over a equals sine of b over b equals sine of c over c. 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 C.
Where was your last one? Side side All right, the law of cosines is? A squared equals B plus C times B and plus C times 2, negative 2. All right, I'm kind of stuck. I was saying it right until my brain got mixed up. You stop. You messed up after B. <laughs> uh, when um W C K. That's literally how. I messed right. up after C, Aaron. All right. When when do we yeah. use a lot of cosines? You're the one that said that. Side to side. Side side angle. Side side side. Oh, I have that. Okay. Use a lot of cosines when you can't use a lot of sides. So you would need to be able to do, use these formulas tomorrow. All right, so make sure you have those, those memorized. Well, we, well. we have a question that asks, when can you use this? Possibly, yes. Oh, no, no, that messes me up, Jack, because I just remember it if I, I use signs if I have a full thing. Full set. Yeah, full set. Well, I guess you start full studying on it. Full house. Is that what you start studying? Yes. What color are you doing? What are you Okay. You're getting a full Geometry, uh, geometry uh, homework is Math Excel review 8.1 to 8.5. Is it out now? Or is it, it will be. I do my nails every weekend. I do my nails every Test 12, Aaron, test 12. Caleb and Peterson. The special triangle. They're going to like come together with us. Like the circle. Aaron, test 12. Thank you. Aaron, test 12.